Hey, what's going on weavers? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we are looking at some really cool stuff from Damn Designs. First off, a huge thank you to Adrian, who is the owner, operator, and creator of Damn Designs. And uh, thank you to him for sending me these goods to check out. And just to let you know, some of this stuff is for a long overdue giveaway that I have coming, so keep an eye out for that. So for this show and tell, we are looking at some really cool paracord beads and paracord compatible EDC gear. Damn Designs manufactures high quality machined goods that started out with fidget spinners, but uh, they have now branched out into EDC gear and knives. So that being said, let's get into this pile of goodies. First up, we have some paracord beads. These are the Monsuta beads and the UFO beads. Starting with the Monsuta beads, obviously that kind of means monster. Uh, as many retro gamers might notice, these little guys bear a very close resemblance to the ghosts from Pac-Man, at least that's what I saw right away. And these come in a few different flavors. We have the antique bronze blasted titanium and polished and flamed zerk. These beads are very suitable for paracord lanyards as the bore is plenty wide for two strands of 550. Overall, the machining and finishing on these is great. And with a single snake knot, the inside of the bead can hide the entire knot, giving you this nice look with the end encapsulated. All three of these materials look great, but the flamed and polished zerk is something really special to behold. It has this very nice, completely black and polished finish, and it looks quite beautiful. Next, we have the UFO bead. These come in antique bronze and blasted titanium. A bit more heft on these ones, and once again, great machining and finishing. You can see the titanium bead on this pry bar here, which we'll talk about in a bit. But what I like about this UFO bead is that due to its shape, it makes for a particularly functional lanyard bead, as the wide disc shape makes for a great purchase when you're snatching whatever it is out of your pocket. So uh, great paracord beads for those of you that are into that sort of thing. So up next, the Talon pry bar. Now this thing is a monster. It's a big chunk of titanium that has a blasted stonewash finish, which should hide wear really well. It's also got a bottle opener on it with this thick cut jimping on the sides, which gives it a really cool look as well as gives you some grip. All the edges and corners are nicely chamfered and rounded, so it's super comfy to hold and use. There's also a nail puller at the very tip, which is ground down to a decent wedge for prying. Also, these can be used as an emergency impact tool, as you can get this sort of three-fingered grip with the pry bar across your knuckles like so. Of course, both Dam Designs and I do not condone this tool to be used in any sort of violent manner. This being of such hefty dimension, though manageable in weight due to the titanium, I don't really see myself carrying this in my pockets, but it would be great in a backpack or EDC pouch that you keep in your car or bag. Once again, like all the paracord products shown, we have a paracord lanyard hole that I've used the UFO bead to make a lanyard with. Moving on, we have the tag, another EDC pocket tool, and this is a bottle opener, pry bar slash flathead screwdriver, hex wrench with four sizes, and has four centimeter and 1.5 inch milled ruler markings. So these two are stonewashed stainless steel and bronze. Now this pocket tool is definitely much more EDC friendly as it's much smaller in profile and thickness. Once again, excellent finishing and machining. This would definitely fit perfectly in your jeans watch pocket. And you could even use the smallest hex nut hole as a lanyard hole, which can fit a single strand of 550 through with no issues. So another fun option if you're into carrying these mini pry tools. Next here we have the pound and the gram, the pound being the larger of the two. And these are classified as cigar holders as when you are in the process of smoking a cigar, you'll sometimes want to rest it on something and this is for that purpose. However, these guys also make great keychains as they have a lanyard hole which can fit a split ring of course or some paracord. And secondly, these can be worn across the knuckles like a single finger knuck or two finger knuck which has the second kind of cool factor. However, from a practical standpoint, you might actually hurt your hand if you punched anything or anyone with this, which you shouldn't do because that would be mean. But if you are gonna punch someone, just make sure they deserve it. Kidding, I'm kidding guys, come on, just like that. 
but in all seriousness, I like these simply because they're just a pleasure to hold and manipulate as these smooth chamfers just feel great and the smaller gram is almost like a worry stone to me. It's fun just to fidget with. And I didn't mention the gram is blasted in stonewashed stainless steel and the pound is in bronze. Oftentimes, those of us in the EDC community simply carry things because they're cool and we may not use them every day or for their intended purpose, but that doesn't stop the enjoyment factor. Now, next here we have the beacon. Now, this item is actually my favorite in today's showcase because this is a titanium mini pry bar that can be used as a keychain, but also worn as a necklace. And most awesomely of all, it has two slots for tritium vials. Now, the one I have here is a production prototype, and the final version is a little bit different, but the representation will be very similar to what you'll get if you pick one up. But as you can see, we've got this beautifully machined titanium piece. The very tip of the beacon has been ground to a thin edge that can actually easily cut tape on a box. You can even use this as a flathead screwdriver. On top of that, you can see the two screws that allow you to get access to the tritium slots to remove or change them. And I also love how the sides are milled out to even further showcase the glow of the vials. This to me is more a piece of jewelry almost, but it's super cool that it's functional as well. As you can see, I've just got it here on some 275 paracord that goes through the sort of center of the beacon, no problem. And I've got it set up on a couple of sliding knots that make it adjustable as well. And finally, this is something very special and definitely a product of the current climate we live in. So this is the shield. This is a hygiene tool that has an aluminum body with a retractable brass hook that allows you to hook door handles open in order to avoid any unnecessary contact with germs while out in the public. So to operate this device, you simply press the push button, which releases the spring loaded brass hook. And with this brass hook, you can open doors and even push elevator buttons. Most importantly, the brass material itself is antimicrobial, which means that bacteria and viruses do not survive as long on it. The inside of the hook also has some jimping to provide a bit more grip as it contacts the door handles. Now, this is another production prototype, and you might say that the part that you press the buttons with sticks out, which it does. However, the final version will be slightly recessed into the aluminum body so that when you have it closed, you won't contact the same surface. Also, this one has a slight rattle when closed, but the final ones will not. This is something to me that is very cool and definitely useful. It is a bit on the larger, chunkier side for EDC though. And for me personally, I already have a pocket knife, flashlight, cell phone, wallet, and perhaps a couple of skill toys. So the real estate in my pockets is limited, but for the potential benefits, I think carrying something like this is worth the extra bit of bulk in my pockets. Also, this shield has a really fun fidget factor as pushing the button and having the hook fly out is super satisfying and will readily annoy anyone and everyone around you, which is also an added bonus. So the shield is actually on Kickstarter right now with still with some time to go. So if this product or any of the other Damn Designs products catches your eye, I'll have links for all of them in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed checking out these products with me. Lastly, I've got a bunch of Damn Designs aluminum beads and I'm including them in the upcoming giveaway along with some of the other stuff I just showed. So keep an eye out for that. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link any video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.